So the next question is asking us to use the cache receipts table to create a new query in the sign view. So we'll do just that. We're going to include the following fields and get it going. From there, we're going to add a criteria to only query those cash receipts that were received before June 30th. So let's do just that. Let me go to the create query the sign and I will bring the cash receipts table. I'm going to add it. And then from here, I'm going to get cash receipt, customer number, receipt date and receipt amount. Let's go ahead and throw them in there. Um, let me reorganize them real quick by saying cash receipt goes to the left. I clicked and dragged, then customer number, then receipt date, and then receipt amount. So that should be it in terms of fields. Uh, the next thing that I'm supposed to do is set the criteria for receipt date, which is this one right here, to be uh, on or before. So it's going to be equal to or less than pound sign because that's a date, 6 30, 2018. And then we just, oh, I made something uh, incorrect, less than or equal to. What, what, what? So it's less than or equal to. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Sorry. 2018. And that should do it. Uh, this is going to be cash receipts before June 30th. But instead, I'm going to go ahead and name that as 17 underscore cash. Let me get rid of cash receipts before June 30th. I know I say it switched the names. I got it. You didn't have to. It's just easier for me. Thank you. So those are all the cash receipts that are done before June 30th. And then it's going to ask me how many records did I have in there. And in my database, I have 41. All right. That's it for that one.